Hi, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Ooh, my skin just been glowing ever since I came to the loo, baby. Anywho, what's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, True, and I am back with another one. All right, all right, all right. So this is gonna be a general collective. If you guys have not commented on that last video, okay, for Zodiac Sign Wars, make sure you guys check that video out. It's gonna say Elements sun moon or rising and go comment your zodiac sign on that video okay i will be doing all six zodiac signs that one tomorrow all right you guys so i want to make sure it's fair game it's fair game i don't need y'all at my throat talking about some why my sign ain't getting no reading why you ain't coming why you ain't coming all right y'all let's get into this reading right here we gonna hop right into it okay um I meditated on the cards just a little bit. I pulled my Panther Oracle. Um, and then I'm also going to pull some tarot. All right. I'm going to do a little bit of tarot. But um, basically the energies that I'm picking up on, this is for somebody right now. Okay. With this card being here, compromise, I'm getting the energies that you could be dealing with a third party situation. Okay. Definitely dealing with a third party situation. Somebody could have went back to somebody from their past, okay, with memory being here. Somebody that they definitely um, have created memories with, all right? They definitely went back to this person, okay? And it has caused a lot of uh, rage, a lot of chaos, a lot of, a lot of conflict, okay? I'm getting the energy that this person has definitely thought about this idea. So everything that's going on right now when it comes to the conflict between you and them, or even if you're having a conflict with the third party um, person, this person has literally sat back and thought about this master plan, like thought about this idea to create this chaos so they can go back and create some more memories with this, this past person. All right, Spirit is saying in this time, do not let this situation anger you, okay? With the calm being here, make sure that you are going within and you are meditating, okay? Make sure you are definitely going within and meditating, specifically with the Hermit card being at the bottom of the deck, all right? Spirit is saying this lesson that you guys are going through right now when it comes to this situation is uh, yeah, third party situation with the Three of Cups being, I mean, the Three of Pentacles being here, um, definitely um, is here to teach you a lesson. Okay, so we have to figure out what lesson this situation is has sent was sent here to teach us. Okay, give me one second. We about to jump a little bit deeper and see what's up. Um, but your birthday could be like in February or on the second. Okay, on the third, I'm getting as well. All right, or you can be either about February or March. Okay, um, or you guys could have started dating around February or March. Okay, um, but yeah, we about to see what's up. Wow, yep, definitely talks about a loving <laughs> somebody. All right, with the lovers being here. Okay, definitely. Wow, and then the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Wait a minute. So for some of you guys, y'all could have been married. Oh, oh, and listen to what I'm saying, okay? Because when I said this, Hierophant talks about marriage. I'm like, I thought I seen the married card. I did. It was at the bottom of this deck, the Panther deck, marriage. So thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation. So this is definitely somebody... <sighs> You could be married, okay? This person could have talked about marriage, all right? Um, but you guys were definitely soulmates, okay? You guys with the lover's card being here, you guys were definitely soulmates, but I'm gonna be honest with you, this person, yeah, this person went into alliance with somebody else, okay? And was trying to control. They was trying to control the situation way too much. Trying to control you, trying to control the situation, thought that they can, you know, um, just do, you know, just do do the bullshit that they're doing. And, and Spirit is saying no. Um, it's definitely a lover situation. For some of you guys, it could be a Gemini, all right? It could be a Taurus, all right? But there's definitely, um, definitely some cheating going on. There's definitely some third-party situations, okay? Definitely. Um, and, and this was all planned out. It was all thought about. This isn't something that, um, you know, just, just happened just out the blue, you know, no, this was, yeah, this was something thought out. But we're about to go a little bit deeper. And we're about to see what else is up. What else is up here? Yeah, I'm getting that things are about to change, though, with the five being here. Wow. The three of swords, like I said, it's a lot of heartache. It's a lot of betrayal. A lot of um, just bullshit, absence, right? So this person could have left. You guys could be in separation right now. Spirit is saying it's time for you to move on with the Ten of Wands. This person had placed, has placed 
way too much burdens on you yeah and you the freaking empress like you deserve to be nurtured you deserve to be catered to okay you deserve to be treated like the wife or the the, the husband that you are okay and if you are a masculine you still deserve to be catered to so many masculines they never had that affection that attention you know so they don't know how to accept it but i need you to understand that start accepting more love you may not have been loved masculine you know by your father or you may not have gotten as many kisses you know um as you would like from your mother um but it's time it's time for you to love yourself you know um so so you can start receiving that true divine love in your counterparts and that's as well for my feminine energies okay um, but yes, you got the, the, the Empress card being here and you guys are embodying every king, every king in the deck, okay? Which lets me know that you're out here doing this work. You're out here making a conscious decision to ground yourself with the Empress, like the calm card being here. If not, you need to, Spirit is saying, if you have been, you know, dealing with this back and forth energy, third party energy, breakup, um, whatever it is that you're dealing with, Spirit is saying it's going to be best in this time to go within and do some extensive extensive grounding okay go within and start grounding and meditating yeah what's after this struggling balance pouring to self third party cut out sell away happiness in your head stuff moving fast big points rejection okay so yeah i'm definitely seeing here um it's, it's just a lot the energy is all over the place third definitely third party energy um i'm getting I don't know why I'm getting Aquarius energy here, um, but it could be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini because that Aquarius is air energy. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely somebody is, is burdening you. Somebody is going back to third-party energies, um, you know, causing heartache, causing pains and betrayal. Yeah, King of Pentacles, this could be somebody, um, this masculine could work. The King of Pentacles is somebody that um, like works a nine-to-five job. Um, this person does get to the bag. This person does have some type of security, um, but that's not enough to sit here and treat you like how they treat you. It don't matter about them being the king um, of pinnacles having some type of security all right or you could be the king of pinnacles okay um i'm getting a lot of earth energy so this is definitely for a um taurus virgo or a capricorn okay taurus virgo or a capricorn as capricorn actually came out spirit is saying in this time okay what they need you to do is start budgeting and start saving all right yeah because I'm, i was just about to say because i'm getting the energy that you're going to have to start anew all right with the food card being here at the bottom of the deck like you're going to definitely have to start anew but spirit wants me to let <laughs> i don't need these cards dog i don't need these cards but spirit wants me to let you know okay Ten of Pentacles right behind it, your new, okay, is gonna be that abundance. Like where you was at with this person, and I don't know how long you know you guys were dating. Some of you guys could have been date um dating, some of you guys could have been married, right? It could have been three years, it could have been three months, right? It could have been 33 months, 33, 33 years, right? You could be a little bit older. You about to walk into some true abundance. That wasn't abundance. That was literally, you guys, it was a lot of imbalance, a lot of up and down, a lot of traumas, a lot of BS. And spirit is, what the fuck? Marriage, right? But you're about to come. So I'm not going to lie. Some of you, got, yeah, and it's about to happen fast as fuck. Like somebody on here, you, you've you never been married, okay? I'm picking up the energies, but somebody, I got, it's multiple energies I'm picking up on right now that, that has the story, okay? So listen to what I'm saying. There's somebody on here, all right? You have never been married. You have never been married, but you have been doing things in these relationships like you are married, all right? For others of you, you have been married, okay? But when you was in that marriage, that long-term uh, relationship, I mean, that long-term uh, marriage, it wasn't happy, okay? It was like cheating. It was BS. It was just, it was just a lot of not happiness not the not the true sunshines okay it literally goes i literally just felt y'all literally went from the ten of pentacles to the ten of cups like this is right now spirit is saying let this shit play the fuck out do not get angry stay fucking grounded keep meditating okay because baby 
listen you about to start a new the food card that zero is a new you could be seeing one 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 okay you could be seeing five 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 okay let me tell you why 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 or ten ten because baby look you got abundance and love coming in and it's about to be rushing in fast because you've been doing this work with the high priest and y'all see this wasn't even the order that the card the high priest was at the bottom of the deck before listen and y'all been doing this work, embodying every queen of the deck. Spirit is saying, don't let nobody play with you. You may be going through it, or you may have, um, because, you know, when you are with the spouse or you, you know, you guys come together, it's, it's heavy, okay? <laughs> but when you guys come together, especially in marriage or whatever, and you guys, you know, was doing things um, together, Let's just say you, you know, you wasn't expecting to the tower moment. You wasn't expecting this person to cheat, you know. So it caused you to have to, you know, go into this. I don't really like to say poverty, but where you had to stack, you had to save. You couldn't really spend, you know, like you want or spirit is saying in this time. It's that time for you to do that. Okay, definitely. And what's coming? The star energy. Okay, so what I'm picking up on. All right. Um you guys are manifesting true love okay whomever this was that had you messed up okay um bygones be bygones i have taurus here capricorn here libra here gemini here sagittarius here okay spirit is saying let that shit go all right pisces and then a little scorpio all right pisces and a little sagittarius again we got sagittarius twice a lot of earth energy okay but Spirit is saying in this time, let that situation go. Let bygones be bygones. Um, end it, okay? Whoever wanted to go back to, to whatever, you know, build new memories, let them build new memories. And you you stay copacetic. You stay in your empress energy because you are a queen. You are a goddess, okay? And let, let that be. I need you to understand what you being an empress, okay? with you being an a, a emperor okay people your spouse can get, become jealous of you okay i need you guys to understand that 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 energy can become take over anybody okay it can literally take over anybody and if you are earth angel and you hold true divine power sorry not sorry baby it's not gonna be too many people it, People gonna want to see you fall. They gonna want to. They gonna be waiting. They're gonna be hoping. Okay, literally, they're gonna be praying. All right. So with you being an earth angel, with you being a chosen one, you have to stay ten toes down. You have to literally not put. Don't go into traumas to where you know you thinking everybody is after you. No, but you're not putting nothing past nobody. Do you get what I'm trying to say? You're not just willy nilly. Okay, they just forever gonna always be here because they did they was here this one time or because they're they're all no, it's it's not it, the slightest little thing can change a person's energy towards you, okay? And then they could just start just sweet y'all know people y'all know people and consistent. Come on, y'all know whether it's friends, whether it's family, whether it's spouse, don't put it past nobody. Jealousy is real, okay? Envy is real, hate is real. And when you are a real earth angel, okay, these demons hold nothing but hate in their heart, okay? They want to come in and they want to try to tear you down, take everything from you that you've built. That's that's the agenda as an earth angel. So as an earth angel, okay, you got to stay 10 toes down. You got to stay strong. You got to keep stepping on next. You got to keep moving forward. You got to keep doing for you. You cannot allow these demons to put that anger within you okay because what that does is that takes you away from your earth angel energy that takes you away from your high freak high frequency okay and you must always always we what we vibrating high and we stepping on next do you hear me all right y'all if this message pretty much resonated make sure you guys hit that like button all right hit that bell so you guys are notified when i upload new videos family all right this was it this was freaking it this was it this was it that was it spirit is saying yeah then you got the star card here like literally like i didn't even put i didn't even um see the star card and the balance so i am gonna see a lot of you guys soon okay before i end this before i end this 
a lot of you guys hold star-like energy okay it's time for you guys all right to really start healing okay because it's time for you guys to start helping the collective heal as well in some type of aspect all right whether you um have business problems and you can help people with their business if you have family problems you can help people with their family heal you have relationship problems you can help people with their relationship you was married about four five times and you can help people get through marriage problems you give it's everybody is here to help each other in some type of way so what spirit is saying is that a lot of you guys are going to be in the spotlight okay that's going to be where your abundance is going to come from as well and it's going to require a lot of balance all right so right now you guys could be feeling like just feel like you're juggling a lot like okay i gotta do this i gotta do that i gotta get this done i gotta do that done. okay okay do i got everything done you know like you kind of running like a chicken with your head cut off is the energy i'm picking up on for somebody on here and spirit is saying that's because all right you're gonna have this star like energy and you're going to be busy you're going to be booked so right now what the universe is doing what god is doing what spirit is doing whomever you believe in um is doing okay <laughs> is doing okay um they're guiding you okay and they are equipping you thank you spirit they're equipping you um for this next level baby they equipping you for this next level some in here was trying to knock me off this god dang on read with y'all but we ain't getting knocked off okay because i'm gonna get these words out y'all see they be trying to have me go blank brain literally but yeah spirit is saying in this time um some of you guys may need to link up with like some friends you know and so forth and just talk okay and just talk but make sure that when you because everybody can't feel energies i didn't feel energies like i feel energies now um, be mindful of the friends you think is your friends. Be mindful of the people that, you know, you want to talk to, you know, um, and, and, and vent to, right? Because not everyone for real is going to project that energy back. Um, and just really pay attention to how you feel like at, when you're talking and venting to somebody, you know, did I feel uplifted? Did I feel, um, you know, did I feel like I was ready to take over the world or did me talking to this person vented? Did it put me more in sorrows? Did it put me more in depression? You get what I'm trying to say? Really pay attention. A lot of times we allow our sorrow, we get too caught up in our sorrows and then we become more sorrow. And it's like, that ain't, nah, if you call your homie, if you call your homegirl, if you call your family member with some problems, you should leave feeling just a little bit more uplifted if they took the time out to listen. If not, that mean they just took the time out to listen, to listen and judge, to listen and freaking judge, to listen and take. You get what I'm trying to say and go run off with some, all right? I hope y'all listening to what I'm saying. Really analyze and pay attention. Don't trauma bond. Who oh, don't want to cry with somebody? Who oh, we crying together? Who oh, we got any more depressed? Hell no. We need uplifting spirits around this Oop, phone dying. But we need uplifting spirits around this mug, all right? Y'all already know what it is. As long as you move out of love, and I'm talking that genuine, heart-shaking, groundbreaking, world-stopping love. <laughs> You're going to always win. I love y'all. I don't know who this message is for. I don't know who this message is for. But spirit is saying, don't let nothing cripple you. Get up. Step on next. Fight off the lower energies. You can do it, baby. I got you. God got you. You, most importantly, got you. I love you. Peace.